It's a little north of our CBS 42 viewing area, but I thought, hey, it'd be a good day to be on the water. So beautiful view there up in Florence. Temperatures right now quite warm, mid to upper 80s, but it will make for a nice night. Again, the uh, dew points, the dew point values right now aren't incredibly imp oppressive, so we're not talking a uh, overly humid evening, but it's just hot temperature wise. 86 in Gadsden, still in the low 90s in Jasper, 87 in Tuscaloosa as well as Malville. Want to point this out? We did hit. 90 degrees in Tuscaloosa today as forecast. The average first 90 degree day in Tuscaloosa is May 15th, so we beat that by about four days, but we're still waiting on a few other locales to hit that 90 degree mark, and I think it could happen within the week. I'll explain that reasoning here in just a moment, but let's talk about tonight's forecast first. We'll see a mostly clear sky through the early evening after sunset, a few clouds building in, and yes, there could be a chance of a few overnight sprinkles, not going to help out temperatures too much. In fact, with a little additional cloud cover that will actually keep temperatures quite balmy will dip into the upper 60s between 4 and 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So those overnight lows settling in the mid 60s in both spots. But here's let's talk about that rainfall. 11 p.m. tonight could see a few showers north of Clanton and then by 1 a.m. along I-65 from Birmingham down through Alabaster. But keep in mind, these are going to be very spotty if if they even happen. And the reason why we have winds out of the north right now converging with winds out of the south, that will just develop a little area where we we could squeeze out a raindrop or two for some from some of these clouds. So not going to be a huge rainmaker, but I feel like we have to forecast, you know, the chance of it because when you wake up tomorrow morning, you might see a little uh, leftover rain on your car. You might be wondering where did that come from? So it'll be overnight temperatures by tomorrow morning, low 60s to our east, a bit more mild to our west, 66 in Jasper, 67 in Fayette, 68 in Hamilton. Much like today, the hottest air is still going to be much parked over the western third of the state from Hamilton down through Tuscaloosa and Malville's where we'll likely see the return of the 90s. Elsewhere from Coleman, Birmingham, Talladega, mid to upper 80s. I'm forecasting a high tomorrow, mid to upper 80s in the Magic City. So if you're planning on heading out to Regions Tradition tomorrow, it's going to be rain free. It's just going to be a little on the warm side. So pack the sunscreen, the water, try to stay cool. Mid 70s through mid morning, low to mid 80s through the afternoon. And again, have to show you this because after all, it is starting to get towards the end of the school year. And I know a lot of folks kind of beat bound this time of year. This is a beautiful view in Destin at this hour. Live look from our Storm Team Tower Cam there and the beach forecast for the next few days. Low 80s with that lower rip current. So the good news there is it looks like a great beach forecast. So if it's too hot for you here, travel south. Temperature is going to be a little cooler down on the coast and that ridge of high pressure though dominates the weather through next week. We're talking heat for early next week with those numbers getting back into the low 90s starting on Monday. And that is a look at your storm team seven day forecast.